One of the hardest things about these movies are the villains, right? What do you do with the villains? Hello, hello there, superheroes. I'm so sorry. My character, Evelyn, on the surface, she's maybe a little bit frazzled. She's clearly sharp, sort of cool in a nerdy <laughs> way. She's complicated. We don't want to give away that she's the bad guy in the beginning. She's got to have a good intro. She can't manage to arrive to a meeting without creating a lot of chaos entering a room. But look how well orchestrated and carefully put together her plan is. Evelyn Dever is Winston Dever's sister. She is the designer and inventor behind DevTech. We embed tiny cameras like those into your super suits. Wow, so small. And the picture is outstanding. Thanks. Designed it myself. To be able to keep her composure in front of Helen, that's good villain stuff. Hey, stretch a leg. She and her brother disagree about superheroes because they lost their parents to criminals. The brother feels that superheroes being made illegal led to their death. Father believed the world would be more dangerous without you. She was more heartbroken by her parents' death than Winston. She feels that her parents died because of an overdependence on superheroes. Superheroes keep us weak. I would say that there's a lot that is sympathetic about her position. The screen slayer interrupts this program. If you really listen... Superheroes are part of your brainless desire to replace true experience with simulation. You don't talk, you watch talk shows. What happened in her past was so hurtful to her, and if it means going against her brother, if it means using technology in a bad way, then she's going to do it. She's always thinking, always calculating, but relaxed and comfortable in her skin. She's kind of like a cat that's too comfortable. She should sit on a sofa like this, you know what I mean? She's unaware of how comfortable she is. I designed her costumes. I wanted to put her in a sweater so that she could feel soft overall. Rolled up sleeves describes working. She has the screen slaver effect that's hypnotizing everyone. Black and white staticky texture on a TV. Seeing an old television with snow on it. I found a bunch of images and then that led me to op art fashion from the early 60s. Black and white and gray and white, bold stripes. Even just a simple wool with flecks of white and black that looked like snow if you zoomed in. It's a screen. She's very 60s mod. The rest of the world seems to be circling somewhere around 56. Her clothing choices are so bold. She's got that little mod mini dress, the high boots. I think it suits for someone as diabolical as that. You'd always have to be a few steps ahead. So maybe it's fitting that she's also a few steps ahead in fashion. That tweed swing coat that she has, I also really actually do want that. She is not all rosy and perfect. I like that she's a female bad guy. You're a genius. Oh, shucks. Evelyn is a genius, hopefully, who can be converted at some point to doing good. <laughs>